Home buyers are going to regret this recent settlement with the National Association of Realtors. Come July, realtor compensation is going to change, making each party in the sale of a home responsible for their own representation. While this is a huge savings for sellers, it's going to cost home buyers a lot more money. Let me explain how this will affect the pocketbook of home buyers, and I'm going to give you suggestions on how to move forward with this. So let me begin by going into how we got here. Where did this whole thing start? The Real Estate Industry Commission's lawsuit began back in 2019. It began with the Merle lawsuit that was first filed in Illinois, and then a month later, the Sitzer Burnett lawsuit was then filed. These, as well as other commission lawsuits, alleged that real estate industry players including the National Association of Realtors and large national firms, they had colluded to artificially inflate the commission rates. The lawsuits take aim at NAR's participation rule, which required listing brokers to make it a blanket offer of compensation to real estate agents in order to list a property on the multiple listing service. Now on Friday, March 15th, the National Association of Realtors settled those lawsuits once for all to the tune of $418 million. Now, the biggest change to that is it does take away the 6% commission that they, you see on these headlines. So basically what it means is now the seller does not have to pay or offer to pay for a buyer agent commission. They can only pay their seller. So like I said before, right, this is great. It's saving the home seller's money. We know it does cost money to sell a home. So now a home seller can pay 3% or even 2.5%. Because, I mean, honestly, a lot of agents in this country charge 5%. And just so you know, there are a lot of discount brokers that do charge like 4% or even less. To say that these commissions were never negotiable, they were always negotiable. And this 6% number that's playing in everybody's heads, I think we made all this money. Not every real estate agent in this country ever saw 6% in their entire career. But I digress. So as you know, right now, the way the current system works is that someone puts their house on the market, they hire the real estate agent, the listing agent, they're going to pay the commission of 5%. That listing agent then turns around and gives half of that commission to the buyer agent who's representing the buyer. Now, I want to step back a little bit and explain how that came into play. So many years ago, it used to be that a home buyer would just go directly to the real estate agent that had that home listed and they would just work directly with them. But the problem with that was that that home buyer was not getting any representation on that purchase. So the listing agent has a fiduciary responsibility to the seller. So they're representing the seller and that's it. They're not there to help the home buyer. So the home buyer is kind of left in the lurch, like having to figure that out for themselves. So they put this new rule in place to be able to have fair treatment for the home buyers and get proper representation. I can understand for a home seller, it is a lot of money. It is. And there are a lot of people out there that are arguing that the buyer is essentially paying the commission fee because the commission is baked into the price of the home. Look, we can analyze this until the cows come home. And there are a lot of theories out there about this. Right now, let's just focus on what this new change in commission rules is going to do to the home buyers. Now it's being said that under the proposed settlement, the buyer will then have to pay say 2% or two and a half percent to their agent. Now, if we use an example of a $500,000 house, that equates to either $10,000 if they're paying 2% or $12,500 if they're going to pay two and a half percent. That's a lot of money for the buyer to lay out. I mean, it's bad enough. They, they have to save all this money for their down payment, the closing costs. Let's just tack on another $10,000 to pay your buyer agent. There's a lot of talk out there about the possibility of moving to flat fee commissions for buyer's agents. Let's take a look at this article from the Wall Street Journal. It talks about a flat fee model example. It's a company based in Los Angeles called Ariva. Ariva charges a flat fee to buyers of $9,750. And if it turns out that the seller is offering a compensation to the buyer's agent, Ariva will then turn around and rebate that difference back to the buyer. But now there's a catch to this. In exchange for those savings, the buyer then has to take on the duties of a real estate agent. Basically, this company's buyers will handle a lot of that sale on their own. They do. They don't really offer much help to the buyers. And, you know, the guy who runs this company even says, he goes, they, they will sometimes have a buyer come to them to say, hey, we need a little bit more handholding and they can't do it. They won't do it because they're charging a fee with the possibility of getting a rebate on that. So look, you get what you pay for. You're not getting full representation. So we're going back to the way it was years ago where buyers are going to be 
you know, figuring this out on their own. Now, in this article, they also go on to talk about another broker based in Miami. It's a digital real estate broker. It's called Baycom. Baycom typically offers a buyer rebate of two thirds of the buyer's commission. So the buyers can schedule their showings, submit offers, and they can close the deal online. But that's it. Again, for most of the process, the buyers are becoming their own agents. They'll receive an information packet that'll answer any of their questions, but they're basically are on their own. Bottom line is with these discounted fees, you're not getting full representation. For a first time buyer, this is extremely daunting. If you don't know what you're doing when it comes to negotiating, and if you're missing things in the house, like red flags that, that could be potential problems, costly problems, at the end of the day, it's going to end up costing those buyers a lot more money on top of the fees that they're going to have to pay. People don't realize there are a lot of things that real estate agents do for home buyers. The biggest part is negotiating the deal and even negotiating the inspections. I know a lot of my buyers, they get very nervous when it comes to submitting their offer. They don't want to insult the seller, you know, or they're nervous. Is my offer going to get accepted? What else do we need to do to get that offer accepted? And it's nice that you have somebody representing you advocating for you to, to be that buffer and to talk to the other agent. So they don't want to have to deal with that going directly to the listing agent and, and make an offer and try and negotiate that deal. It's very daunting. So we handle that for our clients. And then when it comes time for the home inspections, we do the same thing. If there are issues in the home, we have to go back and, and renegotiate that. And then we will hopefully then get the buyer some type of credit or seller's concession on any repairs that need to be made. And I'm sorry, I think a buyer is going to have a challenging time trying to negotiate for themselves to get some type of credit back on the purchase of the home if there are problems. What can a buyer do at this point? How is this all going to shake out? Well, again, under this proposed settlement, which by the way, the federal court still needs to approve this settlement with NAR. So if they approve it, come July, they're going to have their client sign a buyer agency agreement. And in that agreement, it will be spelled out what the fee will be that that agent will receive from the buyer. Now, here's a little caveat here that they haven't mentioned about this settlement. It says that the seller does not have to offer a buyer's agent compensation, but they still can if they choose to. Once you have that agreement in place and you come up with a number of how much you're going to be paying your buyer's agent, when you go to make an offer on a house, your agents can go in and ask that listing agent, would the seller still be willing to cover the buyer's compensation? Or maybe could they pay half of that? That still can be done. So a lot of people are freaking out saying that the buyer's agent is going to be paying for all of this. Look, it is still possible that you can negotiate the buyer agent fee with the seller. So there is that. But I will tell you, when you are going to be hiring a real estate agent, I would talk to multiple real estate agents to really get a feel for them and really, truly understand what they're going to be offering in their services. So find out, are you just going to be opening doors for me and sending me listings or are you going to be writing the offer? Are you going to be negotiating on my behalf? Will you attend the home inspection? There are a lot of things you need to know. What is this agent going to do for me if I'm going to be paying them a fee? Really quick, I just want to add about how people are saying that this lawsuit is now going to affect the housing market and bring down home prices. I got news for you. It's not. So if you're seeing headlines out there that the 6% commission rule is going to change the housing market and bring prices down, no. It is not. My friends, we are still in this seller's market. So a house that's worth $417,000 today, it's still going to be worth $417,000 after July if this proposed settlement does get approved by the courts. It's not going to change. I mean, people are thinking, oh, it's going to be 6% less now. No, it's not. <laughs> No, it's not. It's not how it works. There's still very little inventory, too many buyers, and people are still just going to be overbidding on these homes because there's nothing for sale. If you're waiting for the market to crash now because of this settlement, you're going to be waiting a long time. It's not happening. Hey, did you know that 90% of home buyers over the past few years regret buying their home? You didn't know about that? Why don't you watch this video right here? You can learn all about it. Thank you so much for watching me today to get your dose of real estate reality. My name is Jackie Baker, and I will see you next time.